Let's see how our strategy is implemented in this code. So seek is a string accumulator variable where we are going to build up the sequence of a protein. And header is where we are going to store the header of the protein that we're currently reading. So the way you want to look at this loop, which does the main part of the processing, is as follows. You want to imagine that we are somewhere here in the middle of this data file and all of a sudden we encounter a line that starts with a greater than sign. So we know that line is a new header and a new protein is starting. At that point we would have built an entire protein sequence in the seek variable. So what we would do at that point is we would match our um, sequence with the regular expression. And if the match is not none, so if this returns a match object instead of none, then we know that this pattern is actually contained somewhere inside the sequence. So that protein is actually a theodoxin, so we want to print the header of it. If, on the contrary, the match is none, then we don't need to print it because we're not interested in that protein. But what we have now is we've just read a new header. So we take the current line, we strip the final new line, and we store it as the header of the protein we're processing from now on. And at the same time, we need to initialize our string accumulator with an empty string so that we start building a new sequence. That is, if at this point in the file we were reading a new header. What can happen otherwise is that we are reading a common sequence line. In that case, we just take that line, we take away the trading new line, and we add it to whatever sequence we've read so far, so we're building the sequence of the protein. Now, there are two limit cases to consider here. The first is what happens when we first start processing the file. So when we first start, uh, our very first line is obviously a uh, greater than sign, which is the header of the first protein. So the first line that we read will take us straight here, this will be successful, and at that point we will check this, but we won't have read any protein yet. Well, what happens here is that seek will be the empty string, and therefore it doesn't match, and nothing happens. We just store our current first line into the header, and we reinitialize seek to an empty string, which doesn't change anything, and we're ready to go. And from there on, we'll be reading the first protein. The other limit case that we have to consider is what happens at the end of the file. So at a certain point, this file will run out. When it run out, runs out, we no longer find a header. We just find the end of the file. Therefore, our loop exits. But at that point, we have built up the sequence of the last protein, line by line, but we still haven't matched it. Well, that's no big deal. We can match it down here with the regular expression. And uh, if it does match, we still have the header in memory, so we'll print it. And otherwise, we're done. So let's try to run this code. And as you see, it processes all the 16,000 proteins very quickly. And uh, uh, we find some protein that is actually marked as a theridoxin uh, and other proteins that have the same binding site may or may not be part of the theridoxin family, but we suppose that, that they are actually. And so, as you have seen, with this loop, we have been able to process the entire file without storing more than one protein in memory at any given time.